I'd like to show you why having complex numbers written out in polar form is so useful. So what I want to do is I want to multiply complex numbers, divide complex numbers, raise a complex number to a power, and it's really very easy if you have the complex numbers written in the form where you have an explicit modulus or radius and the argument or angle is also explicitly written out like this. So if you have two complex numbers that are already written in polar form, multiplying them is very easy. You just multiply the two moduli, so 4 times 3, that's 12. All right, and then I need to say it's cosine of something plus I sine of something. And we just have to figure out what that angle is, what the argument is. Well, we're multiplying the two complex numbers, and the rule is you need to add the arguments of the two individual ones. So 40 plus 35 is 75. So you put 75 for both of those places. So z times w is 12 times cosine of 75 degrees plus i sine of 75 degrees. How about z over w? Well, we take the 4 and the 3 and we divide 4 by 3, so we get 4 thirds. And then it's the same form, we're leaving this in polar form. So it's cosine of an angle plus i sine of an angle. And what is that angle? Well, when we divide the complex numbers, we subtract the angles. So 40 minus 35 is 5 degrees, and 5 degrees over here. It's always the same angle in both places. How about z to the third? This actually uses de Mauver's theorem. What we do is we take z. z is 4 cosine of 40 degrees. We're going to raise the 4 to the third power. So we'll have 4 to the third power times cosine of, well now we're we're multiplying the complex number z by itself three times, so we need to add the angle to itself three times, so we multiply 40 by 3, we get 120 degrees, and then plus i sine of 120 degrees. And that's the answer. You could rewrite um, 4 to the third as, as uh, 64, if you'd like. All right. So Notice, once you have complex numbers in this nice form, multiplying, dividing, and raising to a power is very easy. That does mean that you need to convert from regular um, complex numbers to polar form um, before you can do this. Let me just show you one more example um, where you get to do that. So let's compute 1 plus i to the 8th. So first, let's convert this to polar form. We have x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, where x is the real part and y is the imaginary part, the coefficient of the i. So r is going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, so r will be 2. So the modulus of our complex number is 2. So what we get here is 2 times, it's going to be cosine of an angle plus i sine of an angle. I can go ahead and write that down. Just need to figure out what that angle is. Let's see theta has to be tangent inverse of y over x, of 1. Tangent inverse of 1 is 45 degrees, or pi over 4. All right, so this is a pi over 4, or you could write 45 degrees. That's the same thing. Now we're taking this whole thing, and we are raising this to the 8th. But now since it's in polar form, raising it to the 8th is very easy. Uh, I'm forgetting a square root here. This should be r is the square root of 2. Square root of 2. Okay, so to do that we take the modulus, square root of 2, and raise it to the 8th. So we get square root of 2 to the 8th times cosine of 8 times pi over 4 plus i sine of 8 times pi over 4. All right, let's clean that up a little bit. Square root of 2 to the 8th, that's the same as 2 to the 4th, which is 16. Cosine of, let's see, 8 times pi over 4, that would be cosine of 2 pi plus i sine of 2 pi, 8 times pi over 4. And we were given 
our initial problem in rectangular coordinates, so we should convert this back to rectangular coordinates. That basically just means let's not have any cosines or sines left in it. So our final answer is, well, we just compute this. Cosine of 2 pi is 1. Sine of 2 pi is 0. So this is going to be 16 times 1 plus 0. It's going to be 16. So 1 plus i all to the 8th is 16. And there you have it. So even complicated looking power problems with complex number become very easy when you convert to polar form. Well, I hope this has helped, and thanks for watching.